The world economy and financial markets are interconnected. As COVID demonstrated, events on one side of the planet can set off shockwaves on the other side. After months of military buildup and brinkmanship on Ukraine's border, Russia is ratcheting up pressure on its ex-Soviet neighbor, threatening to destabilize Europe and draw in the United States. The escalation in the years-long conflict between Russia and Ukraine has triggered the greatest security crisis on the continent since the Cold War, raising the specter of a dangerous showdown between Western powers and Moscow. Russia's invasion of Ukraine could have economic repercussions globally, ramping up uncertainty, rolling commodity markets, and potentially pushing up inflation as gas and food prices rise around the world. Russia is a major producer of oil and natural gas, and the brewing geopolitical conflict has sent prices of both sharply higher in recent weeks. It is also the world's largest wheat exporter and is a major food supplier to Europe. Global unrest could also spook consumers, prompting them to cut back on spending and other economic activity. Oil, as well as coal and natural gas, provide more than 80% of the global economy's energy and the cost of a typical basket of them is now up more than 50% from a year ago, according to Gavkal Research LTD, a consultancy. A big enough oil shock could derail the normalization plans of many central banks, although the high inflation backdrop and concerns about anchored inflation expectations means policy would still be tighter than if inflation were currently running low. Oil may be the major story when it comes to the inflationary effects of a Russian conflict, but it is not the only one. Ukraine is also a significant producer of uranium, titanium, iron ore, steel and ammonia, and a major source of Europe's arable land. The energy crunch also compounds the ongoing squeeze in global supply chains, which drove up costs and delayed deliveries of raw materials and finished goods. Christian Bogmans, an economist at the International Monetary Fund, said a conflict in Ukraine could further inflate global food prices, which were set to stabilize after skyrocketing last year. Russia and Ukraine together are responsible for nearly 30% of global wheat exports, while Ukraine alone accounts for more than 15% of global corn exports. And many of Ukraine's growing regions for wheat and corn are near the Russian border. The rising price of gas and fertilizer as well as droughts and adverse weather in some regions, like the Dakotas, had already helped to push up the global price of wheat and other commodities. Ukraine is also a significant producer of barley and vegetable oil, which goes into many packaged foods. Russia's economy faces even more economic uncertainty than the rest of the world. Tough economic sanctions from the West have hit the country hard, and more are certain to follow with leaders in the US and Europe staging emergency meetings to decide how to respond to what Joe Biden has called Moscow's flagrant aggression. The longer this conflict goes on, the worse it could get on a worldwide economic scale. But, as those who have taken on Russia in the past have found, appearances can be deceptive, and there are a number of reasons why a swift victory by the West looks unlikely. Firstly, Putin has been actively seeking to insulate Russia from the West ever since the invasion of the Crimea in 2014. Western imports of meat, fruit, vegetables, and dairy were banned when sanctions were imposed. Secondly, self-sufficiency has been accompanied by an attempt at diversification, with a deliberate policy pivot towards China. An agreement with Beijing, again in 2014, paved the way for the construction of the power of Siberia, a gas pipeline linking the two countries that opened in 2019. Thirdly, Russia has used the money received from its oil and gas exports to build up substantial financial defenses. Moscow is sitting on foreign currency reserves of more than $500 billion. This magnitude of the potential economic fallout is unclear, because the scope and scale of the conflict remain anything but certain. Market instability could also dent confidence among consumers and businesses alike. And it's impossible to say how markets would respond in the current environment. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. World of Finance TV has videos every Monday and Friday.